Okay, so I've been so busy bonking students, and now it's time for the dads and the older brothers to have a go. So dads, are you ready to bonk me? Yes! I am one lucky girl. We really have ran a bit too far over the edge. Sleeping with a hundred men in one night, a father and son sharing backshot sessions, fetishizing trans issues for rage bait, a 21-year-old OF model playing into dating a 16-year-old lad for attention, and even pretending to be a predator to sell your fake girlfriend's OF. In a more than ever saturated world with adult content, influencers are seriously starting to drop below the moral depths previously not seen before to sell their pages. Really asking questions of how right these platforms are to be peddling rage bait to loads of unsuspecting people. TikTok and social media have a serious OF problem and it's rotting the sites to the core. So hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Jake Baz and today is a bit of a head scratcher. OF was founded in 2016 with the aim of directly monetizing the adult content industry to give more power to creators. From this, especially women have gained a lot more power over their own bodies and are able to sell themselves on social media sites, cutting out the middleman, getting their fair share, and also increasing the amount of revenue that they could generate doing what they're doing. Generally, a massive win for majoritively women in the industry, but I don't think that OF realised the actual consequences of this. As we have to ask, does this liberation actually equate to a net positive for women on the internet? And also, it's very evident that it's rotting the men's brains at the same time. I'm sure you've noticed it, TikTok, X, Instagram, all of them have been flooded with corn content across every single scroll that you do. For X, I don't even think I can open it up in public anymore because it seems every time that I do, I get a growler staring at me in the face. And the tweet replies are absolutely rampant for this too. As for TikTok, we have over-sexualized comments on women in almost every single post if they're attractive. You have thousands of vapid streamers on the TikTok live part of the website who either just stare at a camera or they uh, subtly shake their ass or have some sort of weird body angle going on, all with the spice emoji in their name. All of this so impressionable people will click the link, follow it on, and subscribe. And now we have the likes of what we're going through today where people are using rage bait as a promotion tactic to get more subscribers on these platforms you want to pretend your mates are nonce clicks yeah go ahead it helps out the of you want to pretend you're bonking a man and his child creating so-called beta jeets at brand new university freshers so they come in as a fresh 18 year old and get a train ran on them by you go ahead and you want to document sleeping with 100 people in one night just for attention Go ahead as well, as well as so, so much more. And the biggest problem with this is that the social media sites see that these videos are getting a lot of attention and attraction, and they will, instead of actually silencing this terrible stuff, will push it further and further, just going wider across the entire internet. So in a monetary standpoint, what creators can do is just promote rage bait because it makes them a lot more money than not. And if you think you've got morals, that's fine. Just chuck them out to the side. And the perfect place to start with this is the massive one at the moment, Bonnie Blue, who is the so-called father and son bonker. Uh, Christ. This is definitely something different to what I usually do on the channel. So if you enjoy the video, please do hit the like button and subscribe. It helps out so much. And I'd also love to see you stick around for other things. So uh, what are you doing? Press sub. I will note that this video is not a massive hate session on every person who does OF in the slightest. I see no problem with people going down them avenues to try and make money once they've weighed up the options of the positives and the negatives of doing it. It can be a very good site for quite a few people, but also unfortunately the predatory actions that go on on this site make it sting just a little bit so for those that don't know across the pond bonnie blue is someone who is going massively viral in the uk and australia because they're doing so-called meet and jeets which is where they will get fresh 18 year olds that have just finished their a levels and are going to university in the freshers week she will visit these cities she'll say where she is and she'll get 18 year olds to come and bonk her she did this last year as well and it didn't get much fame and attention but this year is absolutely skyrocketed and everything she posts is a rage bit about it such as this okay so last year for schoolies i had a lot of fun i took virginities i took groups i let boys bond together whilst they shared my you know what and i cannot wait to the same this year it's not really the bonding session that i think she thinks it is but 
we can let it go ahead. Body Blue, despite looking like she is quite older, I would say, is actually only 25. So she is my age. And what she is doing is going round to cities and doing that. And it really makes you question your life choices, doesn't it? What's brought you up to this position? These are all like promotions for what she's doing. So all of the 18 year olds, the fresh spawns in university know exactly where to go to. Okay, so schoolie starts in just four weeks and I cannot wait to be back on the Gold Coast pleasuring barely legal 18 year olds. As you can see, barely legal. It's cringe. It's horrible. She's obviously rage baiting into it, but she is genuinely going and filming content with these 18 year olds to post onto her OF. You know, these kids that just are a little bit horny, you know, it's 18, you're getting yourself out there and she is somewhat exploiting that. And I would call with everything else you're going to see about her, a actual predator in nature. Not by legal definition, mind you, that is a totally different thing. What well, everything that she's doing is totally legal, but it doesn't mean that she isn't exploiting people by getting fresh 18 year olds into events to do this stuff. And she will profit off of all of it. Everything is predatory in nature, what she does. From these things, she would do stuff like post nut interviews, which <laughs> it really does add an extra bit of spice to it. Update of the day. Today was so much fun. I didn't sleep with 28, but I did sleep with 24. So. I'd say that's pretty impressive, wouldn't you? 24 men in a night. That is brilliant. I feel like if anyone did this, a man, woman, they would have a bit of shame to doing that much, but she's bragging about it. Like we've had with similar people as well, like such as Tasha Newcomb, who I will get onto later. What Bonnie's doing is entirely legal, but it doesn't mean it's right. I've seen quite a lot of people, mostly from like lads, like younger lads who don't understand being like, oh, I I'll get in the line. I will join up. And obviously, if you just wanted a quick nut off, that is something that you would genuinely think about <laughs> when you were like 18. But just imagine for a second, the slipper is on the other foot and there is a 25 year old that is going after 18 year olds intentionally on social media to post them on her OF of them, you know, giving her back shots and she's baiting it the entire way through. And it almost really does seem like she absolutely loves the fact that they are 18. And yeah, they're 18, they're consenting adults, but if it was a man and a woman, so you turn that way around, they would think that the man is a fucking creep. And one of the good things from this is I've seen so much backlash around it and a lot of people are in the same boat. What she is doing is predatory in nature. But she didn't stop there. She wasn't only posting these hundreds of people coming in uh, and, and clarting her, which is just brilliant. She was also doing pre-nut interviews such as two minutes or pass it on, blending TikTok together perfectly with it. My God, it's horrible. Alone or double it and pass it to the next person. Two minutes of you. He's going to be selfish and give you two minutes as well. 100%. Ready to go? Ready to go. <laughs> Perfect. Did you have fun? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Was I good at sucking your... <sighs> I felt like I was in heaven. <laughs> Well, thank you for giving me probably one of my biggest loads I've had today. Lads a trooper, biggest load. <laughs> this is Joyner uh, sleeping with 100 men in one day and, oh my God, it's just, it's embarrassing. You know that this person's real, it's been blurred, so he's definitely uh, been a bit starved, a bit touch starved. And I'm not gonna lie, everyone gets to that point at some point in their life, but you're never going down to these depths. These interviews are outrageous and they only get worse, such as here. Oh. Hi. Hi Okay, she's going first then. Me, 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 me. You're going first. Me, 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 me. Well, you know, up is at the front of the line, but I've seen some of the photos of these lines and they are absolutely massive and it really is sad. What, as a society, we have fallen to that you can get hundreds of people showing up to a hundred man train. Would you really want to be last in that line? Would you want to even be like 10th in that line? I mean, it's probably going to be a bit of a shit experience. Do you want to spend two minutes with me alone or double it and pass it to the next person? So do you want to be nice to your family and give them longer with me? Or are you going to be selfish and do two minutes? Selfish. selfish. You be selfish? selfish. Yeah. And what would you do to me in two minutes? Tell me. Are you going to destroy me? I think we should put it to the test. Destroyed for 120 seconds. He's putting a lot of faith in himself there, to be fair. I could barely go 10. Also, family. This is the thing. They're bringing like friends and family with each other so they could stand in this line and wait to get a G. Why would you want to go straight after your mate? It's just one of the worst things to ever come out of social media. Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you have your ID with you? Yeah. 
Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Would you recommend me to a friend? 100 million percent. And what about to all your family members that are queuing out there? Everybody. It's worth it. Yeah. It's worth the wait. You're extremely worth the wait. You're sexy as well. <laughs> this guy's the Rizzler, isn't it? In two minutes and this is how he's acting. I think it sounds like he wants to get back in line and try it again. Did you manage to destroy me though in those two minutes? Not in the two minutes, but if I had longer with you, you'd get destroyed. Exactly. He's going to come back and go again. 100%. <laughs> Thank you. Like, obviously, this is horrible. It's disgusting. I don't want to see it again. It's so outrageous. Obviously, it's a rage bait and these, uh, these poor, poor lads that are also a bit idiotic are falling into the trap of giving her free content to promote on social media. And you realise at this point how far we're gone. Because like I said, this ended up becoming mainstream news. This was headlines. So why... Why is it allowed to happen? Why have we come to this point? And I do think somewhat the uh, OF, the accessibility of it, has made it a lot worse on social media like TikTok. As she said to the lad, she wants the family and friends to come over, which is just brilliant. Uh, I'm never going to live past this. And she starts skipping, bonking just the children, and also asking for the dads, which is just, wow, it's just brilliant, isn't it? Okay, so I've been so busy bonking students, and now it's time for the dads and the older brothers to have a go. So dads, are you ready to bonk me? Yes! I am one lucky girl. Yes, you are. It is horrible, and it is disgusting, uh, but this is where you find out it's rage bait. Because a content creator called Jet Set Gypsy actually uploaded a couple of videos which ended up exposing this and saying that everything in it is fake. Because all the men that you see here are actually uh, actors in the adult entertainment industry. So is she doing all the dads? No, but uh, she wants to be perceived as to doing the dads. And this is also going to bring some very, very degenerate families over who are going to be like, oh yeah, son, come with us. We need to go to this body blue meter jeep. Let's all get in. It's so horrible and it's intentional horrible to um, degrade women in some form so that she can end up rage baiting to get more attention and this gets even worse because what she ended up doing which actually got her in the controversies it wasn't necessarily just this it was accompanied with afterwards going on a podcast tour because now obviously what we have to do is we have to platform cretins as you see there's thousands of podcasts everyone's got a podcast now and because of this it allows it a lot easier to get onto these platforms and she's got in trouble with this because of some of the horrible things that she was saying during it which are not only terrible but also genuinely really do degrade women and bring them down with her misogynistic speech is something that can very easily be accepted by people if it's like from a woman and as well she knows what she's doing she really does know what she's doing and what she decides to do is double triple down on it because the only thing that she's going to get is more attention from it and the first podcast she went on which really did spark a fury and actually ended up getting someone cancelled and nearly kicked off of i'm a celebrity get me out of here which is like a reality tv show is on the saving grace podcast because she was platformed by one of the biggest podcasters in the uk and not only that the interviewer in grace just literally rolled over and just allowed it all to happen grace has a very uh, women audience which is a very young women audience so for her to let someone on this podcast alone that is like bonnie blue is ridiculous but then to also go on further and then actually let her go on with stuff and then actually agree with her is fucking stupid she said things such as this I don't want to discriminate. I don't want to no. just do students. Yeah. I want to do their dads as well. Oh <laughs> so to be fair, I need to give credit to the students. Why gave, he gave me this idea. Okay. He came with his dad. And I was like, are you joking? <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I have to say, when I first saw him with his dad, I thought right. he's going to come and like tell me off. Okay. No, it was the opposite. He was jealous and wanted to join him. Together? I didn't know if that was too inbred. Mm. So I made him go separate. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I think any sort of thing like that is a little bit too inbred. Father and son bonding time, I guess. It, <laughs> you both got a shared experience at least. But obviously, this is disgusting. And now in the right line as a podcast host, you don't go, I'm sorry, what? Is is hilarious. But I guess all for the money and views. And I did the son first. Okay. Went to see the dad. Yeah. I still had his son's liquids on me. Who was better, the son or the dad? Um... The son's penis was bigger. Oh, the dad was better. That's so humbling for the dad. Yeah. Did you tell him that? No. 
No, too That's nervous. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> Would make, I mean, I was thinking when they go back for tea time that night with their mum, yeah. could be interesting. Were the, was he still with the mum? Yeah. But the thing is, like, if she's not going to go down on him, I will do you it. You must so. do it yourself. You're right, Grace. If the mum is not going to give the dad sexual favours, I might as well do it myself. Obviously, that is a ridiculous statement. All it does there is add to this more misogynistic taste of that women are expected to give sexual favours to men or they will disappear, run off, cheat on them. Grace since has deleted this podcast and she's also not responded at all because the entirety of uh, the UK TikTok community, especially the women in it, are actually defacing her for what she's done. And I've seen so many people as well like, why are you like this, Grace? And just a quick side note, uh, Grace has always come across to me as someone who is just a brand image and is just a professional glazer, if anything. She had James Charles on two weeks before. We exactly know what James Charles is like, so it makes sense that she's just gonna, you know, glaze over it the entire way through. Because at the end of the day, it's just a bag in it. It's another, it's another episode for another bag. But this cheating figure is also something that did massively blow up because she's not only just insinuated there, she outright goes and states it in another video do you think it's okay that men cheat on their wives with you 100 percent. why because women are lazy if you ask the average person when's the last time your wife went down on them they're going to say it's ages ago the other thing with women they want women rights and they want things equal but then they're the ones that want the bills to be paid for they expect their guy to go and earn more money than them realistically i would rather have a wife that wasn't bonking 18 year olds as a 25 year old to promote her of just a personal thing there but like this is also so damaging and explains why people were so mad at gk barry uh, one of the biggest podcasters for just flouting it on there women are just lazy uh yeah all women are lazy because they don't want to give sexual favors at some points it works the exact same way for men men should have to be available at all points should they as well there is quite an extreme uh, level of misogyny on a lot of stuff in tiktok especially and just across social media full stop so for her to be peddling that women are just lazy because they're not going to nosh you off obviously it only harms women even further and especially for like a fucking idiot like for example an andrew tate supporter who will go and see this it's just even more ammunition for them to hate women and not understand actually what women are like if a woman doesn't want to go down on you it's probably because either you've not communicated it or you want it to be consensual and what are we just gonna just make it normalized for cheating now it's cheating fine i've been cheating on before i know the mental uh, torment that it brings you when you find Find out that that happens so for her to normalize that men should just go and cheat on their wives because yeah because look at me i'm bonnie blue i'm famous i don't even know where i'm going with that like it's just ridiculous isn't it men definitely don't have the right to just go and do whatever they want with a woman's body or just to violate some trust because they want to get noshed off i think that's a basic dynamic then they also want that guy to come home, clean the house, look after the kids. So it's like, you can't expect someone to do all of that. And then you're not even going to do the bare minimum, which is go down on them. So when they're not doing that, I offer it free. Yeah, the bare minimum, sexual favours, the bare minimum. Who needs consent? Who needs it when you've got people like Bonnie Blue saying that, oh, you can just come and do it with me anytime. It's just absolutely disgusting. And it leaves a really sour taste in the mouth. I offer it free. And do you think that's okay? Well, yeah, it's a service they deserve. So do you think that you're saving marriages by sucking the box? Yeah, because then they're not having like an affair, like an emotional connection with someone. Well, it is an affair though, isn't it really? Would you cheat in a relationship? Possibly. <laughs> These husbands are telling their wife, like, I'm not happy with how things are in the bedroom. Guarantee those wives are just going to kick off. Like they don't ever take any criticism well. Another great point from Bonnie Blue that women do not take criticism very well. That's so smart. What are you on about? So she would happily cheat on someone and she would implore people to come and cheat on them with her because it saves the marriage. Cheating has never saved the marriage. Do you know what does save a marriage? It's called communication. It's called talking through things. It's called not hiding things. So by going and cheating with someone, you're doing the exact opposite. So creepy. So it's a terrible example for women and it really does not implore any form of like autonomy on a woman's own body and like with a lot of men they will see this they'll lap it up and they'll think as an excuse to cheat on someone because well i'm not actually getting any favors also i do think a lot of women do really actually want a career so i don't see why you're going on 
podcast and saying this sort of stuff like, oh, they're just lazy. Such an overgeneralization and it's so damaging. And I'd think at this point, I want to know what the parents think because the parents must be so happy about Bonnie Blue doing this stuff, right? I mean, she's not damaging women. She's not damaging herself. She's not damaging the uh, 18-year-olds that are coming up and clarting her. Uh, she's perfectly fine, isn't she, right? So they must be happy. What does your dad say about it? Honestly, he loves it. Like, obviously, he doesn't sit watching the videos, but like, all my social media, my TikToks, yeah. he'll have a look at. I beg your pardon? He loves it. He loves what you do. Uh, he loves seeing 18 year olds giving you back shots on Twitter. Because, yeah, he watches all the social media, and I promise you, do not go on her actual Twitter because you will end up getting an eyesore. It's all just straight up filth. So I'm glad her dad's enjoying that. That's definitely not weird at all. It definitely doesn't indicate the uh, father-daughter relationship is potentially a little bit warped. And he's just proud seeing how happy I am, how much I've been able to support the family. And it's like, it's really changed my life and my family's life. I've got these stamps and it says like, I slept with Bonnie Blow. I want to sleep with Bonnie Blow and stuff. And like, oh, I was I practicing that. them on my dad and my dad was like, I need to go to the pub after this. And he's got like <laughs> stamps all up his arms to say he slept with his daughter. <laughs> Great. You even get a stamp tramp now if you manage to go and clatter. That's brilliant. <laughs> get in line. But great. He must be so proud. Obviously, I'd be so proud of my daughter saying this sort of stuff on social media, causing a havoc, not only for men uh, that are being exploited by her, but also the women that are hearing this shite that she is coming out with. And now you think about the dad. The dad had such a brilliant uh, sort of outlook about it. I'm sure her mum is just as positive. Yeah, She doesn't work. She works the hours she wants to work, not a nine to five. She can work when she wants. Okay, what boundaries do you have for her? What do you think is something that you're like, okay, Bonnie, you need to stop now? As long as they're legal, isn't it, Mum? Yeah, as long as they're legal, it's fine. (laughs) But I can't stop. Bonnie's going to do what she wants to do. So I'm always there, 100% to support her. Even if she does something that's illegal, you're there to support her, are you? I'm glad you're such a supported person as long as it's legal. What's next? 16-year-olds? That's legal. I guess the uh, bar is actually on the floor, uh, six feet under, and it's currently being buried with uh, concrete. Like I always say my parents like no others they just want me to be happy I've not come from a broken family I don't have daddy issues like you can do the job I do because I love sex and come from a completely normal family right I don't want to push someone's buttons and say that they might have some form of daddy issues but uh tramp stamping your dad saying that he shagged with his daughter might actually indicate a little bit of problems going on there but also the same person who exposed the dads for this actually came out so I'm gonna have to break your silence a little bit this is also fake because the mother is a fake actor this isn't actually her mum which is very weird because they look very very similar so this entire podcast with the mother is just for rage bear and it's interesting that she is going down to the lengths of this by having like a fake parent who looks exactly like her coming on uh, and it really does just add to the bit and it really works because as i said she's blown up absolutely everywhere and she ended up having some consequences around it but i'd also would like to show you uh, uh, another thing that she said on the Saving Grace pod, which really does uh, sum up how brilliant this Bonnie Blue is. How many people have you done in one freshers? This was 158 in Fuck. weeks. Yeah, I'm sore right now. I was going to say, do you get like sore? So not as sore as what people think. Okay. Because like we said, everyone's got different sizes down there. Yeah. Some of them don't get past the blowjob stage. So then once I don't oh, get sore, like maybe them. a bit of jaw ache. Yeah. Yeah. But that's it. Saving Glaze podcast is going really well, isn't it? Genuinely though, Grace must be sat there uh, having a very star-studded career of uh, loads of brand deals. Sat opposite this 25-year-old woman, uh, thinking about asking her this question. She really must have been rotting on the inside. That's why you've got a good jawline, I do suppose. You yeah, you do have very good yeah. jawline. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure that's how it works. Grace is not only a brilliant podcaster, as you can see, she is also a bit of a biologist. I'd run out of sex positions to suggest at this point. Yeah, that's fair. Um, and like he did finish at the end and I was thinking, like, blimey, that was like a lot of work. He was waiting for that. Yeah. And then the following guy after that couldn't get him hard whatsoever. Oh my God, the nerves. And I was sort of like, have I lost it? What am I doing? <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. I was Googling it. Yeah. <laughs> My question would be, how can people unironically sit down in this hour podcast and watch it and not lose their mind? She's asking, has she lost it? No, I've lost the plot with you because she's just terrible. She's definitely a bad example on social media.
media and what she has done now is she has managed to successfully rage bait to the point of getting to headline news so now that is the case it's going to give a lot of other creators who are also doing similar stuff the uh, thoughts of oh well i should probably do that as well it's going to be flooded it's going to be terrible you're all going to see it but she got cancelled very very uh, vehemently like very strongly cancelled uh, from all of this which i mean she kind of wasn't already but to the point of there is actually a change to org at the moment because she said that she's going over to australia for their freshers week of fresh 18 year olds to have sex with and post on their only fans and it's got 15,000 signatures on it which is just insane to me that is a lot of people that are trying to get her out because as i said what she is doing is predatory in nature she is getting young uh, impressionable people to come on and to do this stuff without even thinking and something like posting your i don't know your private parts and only fans is something that you really do need to think about for quite a while but bonnie blue sets it up as like a oh it's two minutes for me it's two minutes you're only going to be there two minutes come on come on if you're starving come here and the impressionable 18 year olds such as like an 18 year old me would probably think fucking hell that's worth it not understanding the implications and also the amount of times that you're going to get rattled by your mates for doing such a thing and she's realized this that she might have a bit of a problem with promoting her stuff and also actually going over to australia so she went on a news tour where she was on multiple tabloids giving out interviews which are just as bad as everything else and i'm not going to show them all because i would rather uh, i don't know eat my own sh but she did talk about being called a predator uh, and it really gives insight to her because it shows how brass neck she is. People saying like, oh, you should be arrested or, you know, you're a predator. Whereas if they understood the law, if they understood better, they'd realise what I'm doing isn't breaking the law. I don't really think this is a qualification of what she's doing whatsoever. Just because it's legal, it doesn't mean that it's morally right in the slightest. And yeah, legally, she isn't a predator, but what she's doing is predatory in nature. And I would say that she is a predator in the same sort of sense. Like I said, not in a legal sense, but in what she is doing, she is getting very young, impressionable people to come up to her and clatter for her OnlyFans. And if the slipper was on the other foot, for sure as well, if this was a man that was a 25-year-old doing the exact same thing to 18-year-old women, I think the same questions will be being asked. There is a serious amount of uh, comments calling you a predator, saying like what you're doing is mm -hmm. exploitative. Is yeah, it's like I put posts online and they can choose if they want to come and see me or not. It's their decision, it's their bodies. And I've said 18 year olds can drink, drive, sign up to the army. Why aren't we allowed them to have consensual sex? Do you think there's any part of them that is like more vulnerable than other groups of people? Yeah, possibly. So they are, they are younger. Um, but like I said, it's, it's their decision. <laughs> There. she just admitted yeah yeah they are more impressionable they are they, you've highlighted the actual problem with this uh but it's their decision because they're 18 because the actual age really does equate to the uh literal mental age of someone and obviously this in itself is a bit of a bit because what she's saying there is that yes what i'm doing is a problem but it's not a problem but it is a problem and it is just a problem because you see it as like very black and white like this is it the is line. yeah it's like they try and say it's a gray area whereas the law is black and white if they are underage okay arrest me but mm. they're not and until then the police officers can join me so there's, you don't think there's any like nuance to it? No. Well, there is nuance to it, and you do think there is nuance to it because you said that people uh, that are younger are less mature. I just find it absolutely abhorrent what she's doing, everything that she's doing around it, and she's not going to stop doing it as well. Because now she's done it, and it's got attention, she's only going to keep one-upping herself and making it even worse. And her saying, oh, the police can come get me. Well, the police aren't going to come and get you. And I think, I, I don't, actually don't think I've seen anyone saying that the police are going to come and get her around this. I don't think I've seen anyone say, what she's doing is illegal that's not the point and that's the obvious uh, bit which is annoying because i know it's rage bait as well saying that she is doing something perfectly legal on social media and she's doing something that is abhorrent and disgusting on social media as well. She's the biggest story that really does add credence to the idea that OF is a massive problem on social media at the moment because it is just everywhere. And I promise you from this, you're going to see much, much more, not just from her, from other people as well that are doing similar, more disgusting things for attention. But she is definitely not one of the only people that is doing this terrible stuff on the internet. And they're doing it in a lot of different ways. 
Jones. This OF problem stretches far and wide across a lot of content on social media because you'll find a lot of the people that are rage baiting are actually uh, on OF in a lot of instances. And another person that is doing a similar thing in a similar vein to exploit and use OF is through animal welfare with <laughs> Tash Peterson, also known as That Vegan Teacher's Daughter, who isn't That Vegan Teacher's Daughter. But what she does is she goes on TikTok and she posts loads of stupid rage bait about how um, animal welfare, things like that, everything she'll run into venues and get done in and she'll also just be like a terrible uh, outrageous protester who is just a joke and she uses her own body to promote animal rights supposedly this is the for five years, Tash Peterson has been a regular feature on Perth Street. If you're not vegan, you are an animal abuser, but this is not your fault. These industries have lied to you. She goes in the streets, she causes a ruckus, she annoys people, and it's all in supposedly uh, to help animal welfare, animal rights, and to get more people into veganism. Which obviously turns absolutely everyone away from veganism, just full stop, because people look at that, whether you're vegan or not, and think you are just a knobhead. But her promotion tactic is using her own body. Body. I'm definitely not afraid. I mean, I use my body to raise awareness for those who have no bodily autonomy, whether that be topless or close to being nude. And I think it works brilliantly to raise awareness for animals. <laughs> I find this such a rogue statement and idea that you use your body, which uh, coincidentally you also promote on OF to bring forward and get attention towards veganism. I mean, it clearly works. People give you attention, but to what extent? Because the things that she posts on TikTok are just ridiculous. And you can't tell me, and I refuse to agree with anyone who says that this isn't just to promote her OF. Uh, not that she isn't vegan, she probably is vegan, but she makes herself uh, extremely annoying, arrogant, all for uh, OF, because that's where her money is made. She comes across as a selfless act, but it always has selfish intentions. To the point as well where she's been exposed for her um, problems with paying tax because of the amount of money she's making. With, in a current defamation case, someone saying that he had discovered another exhibit existed that showed uh, Vegan Booty had submitted a tax return 2021-2022 for $267,000. But the lawyer has said that there is $130,000 missing that financial year. Pre OnlyFans Tash Peterson was only really posting some odd stuff on social media and just doing the usual of like, you know, jumping events and just being an arsehole in general. But then once she started OF, she started getting more outrageous with it and posting stuff like this. So you agree that animal abuse happens in a slaughterhouse? Yeah. Chopping someone's head off is, is abuse, right? Yeah? Yeah. So now that you have agreed that animal abuse is wrong, but by not living vegan, you are causing animal abuse and murder in slaughterhouses on not only I meat mean, farms, me you're paying someone to do it, right? So that's no different to paying a hitman to murder a human. She constantly gives equivalences of that uh, animals are on a level with humans, which isn't true. I'm not saying that uh, the meat industry is very good. I just think that's stupid. But also owning people, for some odd reason, it majoritively of the time is just children that she is going at, such as here. And it's like, if your arguments are so sound and solid, why do you have to go and find people with a banana attached to a microphone uh, <laughs> that are majoritively children uh, to expose for, like, what? For eating meat? It is like she's incapable of arguing with people who are older, uh, and it's probably because she's a bit fucking annoying. But everything she does on social media is for attention uh, in this sort of aspect, and what I do believe is that she is uh, exploiting this uh, veganism in some form so that she can promote herself, so then she can get a lot of money from it. Filling once again TikTok with a lot Load of stupid stuff of like rage bait of her just talking with a nana uh, and just being outrageous uh, showing off her body as well all in an attempt to just get people to her OF and I find that a little bit morally unjust. Veganism can be good and it's like you can have a community a good community there but instead you decide to rage bait to put other people off it's not helping anyone if anything it's only harming the vegan community but at the end of the day she's making money from it so she Shut up, everyone. Another person that I covered, which does the exact same sort of thing in uh, taking a community and just making yourself somewhat ahead of that community and then just trashing it for your own ego so you can get 
attract more people on OF is with Lily Tino. Lily Tino, if you don't know, is a trans TikToker who uh, really just entirely promotes rage bait in her content. Doing stuff like this, pretending to be Miss Rachel, who is a child uh, creator on the TikTok app. Hi, friends. Today, we're talking about something super cool called pronouns. Pronouns are little words that help us talk about each other. We all have pronouns. Some people use he and him, like this bear. He's so cuddly. I've never heard of a bear using pronouns, but that could be a new one. Also doing stuff like faking being misgendered and then overly exposing themselves to be misgendered in certain ways, making an example out of people, which also the way that she does it is so disrespectful. It is actually annoying. The guy who dropped the, the, the food off, he called me sir twice in a row. This is, mind you, after the person apologized for it and it was a genuine mistake. But also, she's got that on record uh, after the guy apologizing. And then she's gone and called him a he twice as well after saying that people should use gender neutral pronouns, which obviously is just ironic. So evident to me that this stuff is recorded and then reused and repurposed by Lily Tino multiple times for Rage Bait. So people get annoyed at her, which then pushes the algorithm, tells everyone that it's doing well. And and then everyone will flood in and you'll get these odd people who will click the link and subscribe to her OF. But not only that, like you saw in the start clip that I showed, she does do childish stuff like Miss Rachel pretending to talk to children about it, as well as using a lot of very, very inappropriate stuff, such as using food items to talk about very serious trans operations, things like that in public. Last summer, I got my cake pops removed, and the plan up until recently was to get my marshmallow wand reconfigured into a marshmallow tunnel. Unfortunately, a few weeks ago, I noticed some hair regrowth on my marshmallow wand. That's bad. Genuinely, nobody needs to be taught this. Nobody needs to understand that you've got hairs growing on your, <laughs> your piece. And mind you as well, this was something that went really massive because she's doing that in Disneyland. As she says, I'm going to get bad from Disneyland. Yeah, because you're talking about serious like trans operations in public using childish terms so children can understand you whilst in Disneyland, which is like kind of asking to be cancelled because it's so inappropriate. But the whole point of it is outrage. She's doing something outrageous that is really annoying. So then what people do is they talk about it, as you saw with like my last video on her, got about 400,000 views. People talk about it, people get to understand her, and then people get outraged and annoyed. And yeah, the problem with Lily Tino is she does this uh, whilst also doing stuff like this on the same page. Wait, 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 wait. I have a really important announcement. I promise this will take two seconds, okay? You ready? They bounce. Am I right? Obviously, you know exactly what she's doing there, and Christ, horrible. On the same page as the one where she's talking about pronouns to children. And although I disagree with all of the trans hair around her, very, very bad, um, what she does is she plays into the fact that she is trans to be able to get more subscribers and she uses it as a form of like a fetish, which I don't think is hard to understand. There's a lot of trans people that don't associate with her because of the previous stuff that I've mentioned, but then also the fact that she fetishizes it, it only brings a worse case onto people who are transitioning or have transitioned or are trans that are looking at this stuff and realizing that she's doing it for profit, not necessarily necessarily for herself. The intent from her there is to transition, but uh, with the way that she promotes her content, it really leaves a sour taste in her mouth, such as on her actual page. You can see, I love posting my body. I can't wait for you to see me chum. You'll see a lot of my boobs, booty, and girl dick. And lots of uh, chum videos on main feed. No pay-per-view. And it's really about that girl dick thing. Like, uh, I am a transgender woman, but I still have a penis. And people fetishize that. As she's seen as, like, one of the heads, quote-unquote, of the trans community, at least on social media. This obviously brings a terrible precedent to other people in the trans community that are experiencing watching this burn. And although, as I say, I think she is trans, uh, whether she's trans or not, you can evidently see that this is a problem of her using this to promote it. When she's the figurehead, she sets an example. And every example that she sets so far has been terrible, uh, obnoxious rage bait, and really annoying. And it only puts a bad rep on a lot of the people in the trans community 
that are not like this because the majority of people aren't. But who needs morality, right? Because you're looking at this and there is a lot of people in these uh, avenues and sectors who are just horrible and they don't think about morality or morals at all. All they think about is their back pocket and how much money they can make from doing what they're doing on these adult content sites. That's why the rage bit happens. That's why they do this stupid stuff all the time because people click on it and people give them attention. And another example of this is one that a lot of people in the UK definitely will know and this is what I would call a uh, predatory person once again. Tasha Newcomb is a 21 year old uh, OF model who only posts uh, their breasts on social media. According to her that's a very classy thing to do. Um, I'm not sure class really means anything here because she's totally classless because she's currently dating a 16 year old TikToker and it is a genuine relationship and it's really weird on the surface of it, but she uses it for rage bait so that people click on her and then will go and sub to OOF. In a brilliant tact of marketing, she's decided that as a 21 year old, I'm gonna go with a 16 year old other TikToker because this is gonna really work for our social medias. Because now she's got a dedicated amount of haters which will just peddle her and continue giving her views and likes because she is doing something that is very morally unjust. To you Americans that are watching, 21 and 16 in the UK is legal, but is it right? No. And I found out about this because I saw this brilliant clip on social media. Like, that's just society in general. I think that's, that's what... only because of the social media, though, because, not gonna lie, when I was 16, I was seeing a 24-year-old. No one batted an eyelid. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's mm. only because it's in the public eye and we've given people, like, we, we have a platform. I would just say for everyone there, it's definitely not just because she's in the public eye. And just because you saw a 24-year-old when you were 16, that does not make it right for you as a 21-year-old to go with a 16-year-old. Just because you're on a less worse standpoint to that person, you just explaining it and he's pissing himself and you can understand why. And if you're wondering, oh, because she might say, oh, he's very mature for his age, which she has said, which is so grim. But uh, do you think this guy is mature in any way, shape or form? I'll just give you an example. Let Keep me ask you a straight up question, man to man. All right, all right. When you first messaged her, was she just another number? Yeah. Was it just, yeah, I'm going to try chop it, yeah. sweet as? 100%. But then I met her and I thought, you know what, like, this girl was just, it's just, she sucks she's such a nice girl. Yeah, I'm just going to try chop it. I'm just going to try chop it around uh, a woman. That, great absolutely brilliant mind you this is one of the things that isn't rage bit and also her boyfriend can't actually look at her OF because he's 16 so absolutely brilliant morality is going on all around you've got a very mature 16 year old and a very mature 21 year old but what tash does not necessarily uh, marco the boyfriend in this relationship but what tasha does is she goes on social media and she rage baits the entire relationship all the time because that gets attraction and that will end up with more people subbing to her of such as here when she said casual things me and my boyfriend did before we came official and then saying literally nothing he basically moved in straight away nothing sounds predatory in nature with that just moving in with a 16 year old at 21 straight away that doesn't sound bad whatsoever doesn't sound like you're trying to you know trap him or make him around you and make him uh, indebted to you in any way that sounds perfectly normal tash but the weird one for me is that she genuinely baits out being a creep quite a lot and it really really makes me uh, squirm because obviously she thinks this is morally acceptable uh, and it really is ho horrible such as here and because mark was such a good boy today i decided to take him to nando's we got him his coloring which he enjoyed so much now we do normally order his food off of the kids menu but because he was so well behaved today i told him he could order off the adult menu he finished his beautiful coloring and we got some loaded fries like deep it yeah this kid's 16 a 16 year old and she's 21 and she's posted stuff like this about her boyfriend it's outrageous it's ridiculous so she's getting cooked in the comments but yeah oh he's just coloring in because he's literally a child uh, yeah well done well done for making him seem more childish you've really helped out your case there of this guy being very mature you've got him coloring in for you it's just so disgusting and morally inept and if the slipper was on the other foot so in this case with the man at a 21 year old man dating a 16 year old girl there would definitely be more outrage about this, but there isn't because, uh, or as much, because it is a woman that's doing it. Roles reversed would be bad. 
this is terrible. They do a lot of these vlogs together, such as this one, which is their six month anniversary, which was last month. So he would have been, what, six, 16 years and two months old when they started getting together. Bear in mind, once again, it's a 21 year old woman who has um, been through a lot of life experience because they used to tour around the, um, the around Spain and Europe. There's no way them two should be in the same room together, understanding each other. There is too far an experiential gap. But they flex about it all the time because it gets them attention. And that is what is horrible about it. It is all intentional. So people will go onto her OF and click it. It's definitely not about the followers because she loses followers when she does stuff like this. Uh, it's about the people that are like, for example, Freshly 18 that think they might have a chance with someone like this if they subscribe to the OF and message them. And it is a bit predatory, but everything she does at this point seems to be quite predatory. Once again, I just find it all so disgusting. And then Body Blue, as I mentioned earlier, uh, she tried doing 100 people in a night. And she also did another experience with another girl who is doing something very similar called Lily Phillips. It was yet another OF creator who constantly gets their stuff taken down on TikTok talk like bonnie blue and she documented uh, herself like some sort of uh, amateur documentarian around going through a hundred men in one night which seriously asked questions of what are we even doing on this earth and why am i watching this but if you want to be a part of the next one i'm actually doing a hundred guys in one day so head on over to my Twitter to find out how to... 100 guys in a day, really. Do you want to be 60, 70, 80 in there? No, you don't. It's going to be horrible. And I know this is rage bait, but she actually goes and does it, at least to my best impressions and understanding, she did end up doing it. It's a terrible precedent for women, and it also really does stink up the gaff. And it probably stunk up the gaff anyway. 100 people, fucking hell. The musk must have been insane off of you. You've had your shoes and your jeans immortalised into this situation. I really know that there's a couple of people that have been caught out by their mates for going to this thing. It's just so desperate. And what does it bring? It brings a lot of desperate people to it as well. So you can understand that this is not very good. It's not only disgusting, morally wrong, weird, uh, and cringe, if anything, but also... It just really is just all attention, rage bait, and people shouldn't listen to it. But obviously, because of the nature of social media now, especially with few pages, it gets pushed to everyone. And then you've got to deal with this shit. Not only that, women then have to deal with the consequences of people like this just being horrible. I mean, she associates with Bonnie Blue, so she's not far off the edge, is she? Got ran through by 101 men. And my eyes are still recovering from all the bodily fluids that went in them. Ran through is just an outrageous thing to say, but the reason why she says it is because it is like that. She's just uh, dehumanising it in some form. She's just making herself sound more degrading, if anything, which is only going to be good for women who then get told they're going to get ran through um, in very horrible scenarios. 100 people, 100. Could you imagine? 100. But she even, uh, because she's vlogged the entire entirety of all of this she even shows the aftermath so yesterday i got ran through by 101 guys don't mind this someone actually bit my lip <laughs> but last night i didn't end up having a shower well i didn't wash my hair in the shower um just because i was too tired but i want to show you guys the aftermath of what it's like to get run through by that many guys in one day. I don't think you need to show that. I don't think there's many people that want to see it and I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, it looks horrible. Why would you do this? Why would you promote it? And it's purely just OF. Uh, and if you go into her Twitter, you will see the exact same sort of thing. It's just filled with uh, filth. Obviously nothing necessarily uh, wrong with someone like this putting that sort of stuff up but documenting the entire thing and then also a hundred people a hundred strangers which are now going to be immortalized on your only fans is not good it's not a good look the way she sounds so happy about it the way she seems like she's loving it and this is the best thing possible for her it really is just weird isn't it and it is a very demeaning thing but she even goes on further now to talk about uh, how she's going to one-up herself because obviously you need to one-up yourself when you've done something as outrageous as that so on Saturday, I got run through by 101 guys. Now, I've had a lot of backlash so far about it. 
and I've seen some of the videos and I see your side like I am not trying to encourage other girls to be doing that like if they don't want to but nobody said that what do you mean if they don't want to yeah if they don't want to they're not gonna go through a hundred men in one night are they that's not something it's the way that she's so proud about it and the way that she uh, has promoted it as like some sort of like experience that she's gone through and it is just very demeaning and it's a little bit weird isn't it the outrage is because you've vlogged it all and these uh, unfortunate people are now gonna be on your of but uh, they might just not really understand the true extent of what they were getting up to but i'm glad you cleared the air and rumors but my side is like i'm just a girl trying to enjoy myself trying to have fun trying to make some content for you all you know um trying to get my bag like this is fun to me this is what i enjoy no one is forcing me to do this and i feel like we're going back in time to where women are getting shamed for being a slusser when I thought that's what we were trying to get away from. How could she not understand, though, by doing what she's doing, that it does have a knock-on effect in that kind of way? Social media is so much more sexualized now in any avenue you go down, in any comments you look at, in anywhere that you go. And by her doing 100 people in one day, that is ridiculous amounts of sums. If it was a man, if it was a woman, I would be calling that for stupid and i would be saying that is a bit too much i'm not sure it's entirely the fact that you really enjoy it i really don't believe that in the slightest that that's what you're doing you've done it entirely to do a bit like you say to get that back and yeah you might have got that bag by doing something like that but is it not a bit of a demeaning way to do it? Yeah, of course it is. Women having multiple sexual partners over time is obviously normal, accepted, fine. Uh, and it's the same for men as well. That is normal, accepted, fine. But it has always been normal, accepted for men, just not women. But for her to get with 100 men in one day and then say that, oh, this is uh, like setting back the precedent of like women and experiencing sexual experience. It's a bit counterproductive considering what you've done if it was a man or a woman i'd say the exact same thing uh, and i think it is if anything a harm to women than it is a net positive of like oh women could just be sluts when they want like you say that is such a demeaning thing in itself because that term is usually rallied on women uh, and it makes them sound promiscuous and for you to be using that word it's another bit of rage bait but yeah on to the 1000 so right now I'm currently in training to break the world record for the amount of guys a girl has been with in one day. Now today I only did 50, which seems like rookie numbers when I want to do a thousand in a few months time. And yeah, if she ends up actually doing a thousand men in a day, that is going to represent the women in any community really, really well, isn't it? It's not going to like set them back further, not like they're already being pounded by every single corner of the internet with stupidity. You really get the term uh, women supporting women. Uh, it really could help in that situation for you to just not do that and actually support women instead of stooping down to this level for a couple of subs on your OF. I just find it grim. And also another person who is involved with Lily Phillips because they seem to all be intertwined in the UK community is the worst one in my opinion for how stupidly fake it all is and also uh, the guy in question because it's General G who is this uh, autistic TikToker who was taken in by another horrible person called HS Tiki Toki ended up doing loads of dramas and stuff that were all fake for views and attention and currently he's got a girlfriend or a supposed girlfriend I would say uh, uh, because I don't think they're together and it turns out that well the latest drama that they're in is that hs tiki tucker is exposing him for being a certain file for intentionally talking with minors which is just insane an insane fake thing to do and we'll get onto why it's fake in a second general g diddler you thought i forgot about you you thought the exposing was done oh no it isn't it's getting worse have a look at this yeah, what, what's that in your mouth, my python? <laughs> not your python. It's not your python. It should be. 
<laughs> it should be. What are you eating? A clapple. A clapple. A clapple. Oh, they're sick. They are eating them. I haven't had them. Cadbury's Flake is my favourite, babe. Bloody hell. Yeah, that looks absolutely terrible. There's no other way of spinning that. It really does look like he's talking to a child, considering everyone else is in, like, school uniforms. And this guy is known for being a little bit of a creep with women, and I've heard some stories that aren't great about him either, but this entire situation, in my opinion, is just fake. Because it really weirds me out with all of this, because you've got a back-and-forth sort of drama going on, like, he responded here now. General, I am so sorry, bro. Like, you don't even understand, man. I've been f***ing spinning the last couple of days i know it doesn't look like it on socials i'm just trying to make the most of a bad bad f up exposing hs for just you know uh, just making it up for attention i'd say uh, and also with the original um file thing that i showed you that clip uh, the girlfriend of general g the quote-unquote girlfriend actually reposted that video so why would she still be girlfriend and boyfriend with him if she's seen that. I think that's a very obvious, like, you stop talking to him. Uh, so, I don't know. It might also be to do with the fact that HS Tiki Toki has faked so many situations and dramas and scandals in the past for attention and for clicks to sell, actually, his uh, Forex trading group, which is a scam in itself. He's also one of them that promotes OF women on his social medias, and I presume he gets some sort of percentage of what they get from these subscriptions whilst they're involved. And General's OF girlfriend, I can only imagine, considering she's reposting it, is doing that exact same thing. HS then goes on to pretend that he's been banned for all of this. Oh my days, General G Diddy has just got my main TikTok account locked off because he can't handle the fact that he's got to go back to the UK to claim his universal credit while his main thing's flying out to hold this wood. His account was never blocked, he's just stopped posting on it and pretended that he's on a new one. And yeah, apparently because of this situation, uh, it turns out Grace, who is the uh, OF girlfriend of this General G, is now going out to fly, <laughs> a fly out, like I said, with the HS Tiki Toggy, what he just said then, uh, to go and hold this wood, which I think you can presume what that means. Sorry, George, but I am going out to Dubai, so there's nothing you can really do about it. Gonna get Tiki toki <laughs> good luck to you love sounds like a very healthy relationship all of this is just fake because last night i was on a tiktok live and i noticed that general g was live clicked on it and well he was live with his girlfriend or his supposed girlfriend so i'm not really sure that this is a, a very you know solid case that they've got going on almost like it's entirely fabricated uh, to make the girl who is involved with the OF to get more subscribers because that's what they're doing with multiple stuff. This is just the most egregious case. And when you sit down, you think about it, you deep it. They have got some autistic man to pretend that he is actually a predator, like an actual predator with video evidence so that his girlfriend, fake girlfriend, can sell OF subscriptions, it really does seem to be getting to the point now where OF is genuinely out of control on social media because people are doing this. We got levels and we just consistently keep dropping down them. Like, I don't think I need to tell you that pretending to be a predator uh, for yourself so that you can get some money is really the lowest of the low. You're looking Paul Breach level for that. And it's absolutely insane to me. Like HS Tiki Toki as well, we have the likes of Jack Doherty, who, um, although he has deleted a lot of the people that were on his kick streams he is a live streamer that is just horrible as well he does loads of rage bait for attention he does the exact same thing where he will have of girls within all of his content which gets repurposed and reposted people go and click onto his links to see uh, you know what these girls are and they will find the of links and go and subscribe to them as well and he has a roster like he's a pimp it's insane i think there really is a conversation at this point with how over sexualized uh, certain platforms are at the moment to talk around tiktok and social media it as a whole having a problem with of creators doing this sort of stuff because as i've noticed over the past couple of months it seems to be getting more and more prevalent i'm seeing a lot more creators who are doing this stuff 
and it's not ended up well and it's only going to keep getting worse as time goes on as it keeps working because more people will see it's right and they will end up going on it and i think we really also need to have a conversation about oh well you you're earning a shitload of money on social media well done laughing all the way to the bank but a lot of the morality is lost within the content that a lot of these people do now because it is all for rage bait and attention this video is more of an idea of understanding the problems of what you see how to spot them and then also in future if you see something so outrageously stupid like this you just scroll past you don't give them any attention and it doesn't work because realistically this is only getting worse over time and it will only continue to get worse but what do you lot think let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe i would love to see you back i've been jet baz and i will see you later take care